Hello, welcome. Today I'd like to talk about giving form to your drawings. But before we start, I've got to ask you to please like the video and for whatever reason, if you like this entire thing that I'm doing, to subscribe because I am the smallest tiny speck of sand on this ginormous beach of people trying their best to make a difference. And especially now, especially in this beginning phase, it helps very much. It helps a lot. Now, let's just get started with what we actually wanted to do. So, as first step, you gotta construct your drawing, right? I can't stress this enough. Construction is so important. It simplifies the shapes, the 3D shapes that you see in your reference or for people that have leveled up quite a bit and are on a higher skill level, they can do that from imagination and they imagine a 3D shape, put it on a paper, simplify that and they're good to go with rendering and the details. But if you're like me, if you use reference, which is not a bad thing, reference is good, then take a little time to observe it. What are the big shapes in it? Maybe squint your eyes a little and see only the biggest shapes of the reference, okay? Don't go into the details, like for faces, don't go into the eyes or where the nostrils are. Just see these big lines, where they connect, how are they angled, where are they on the reference, stuff like that. Now, if you're having trouble drawing in perspective, then just use a perspective brush or a perspective grid, okay? It makes things a lot easier and it's not cheating. It's something that gets used by all skill levels of artists. So don't fear to use reference or a grid or anything other than directly tracing someone's art and selling it as your own. Because these are all helpers to make you grow faster. Anyway, if you have your basic shapes on the canvas, then identify where are the planes of these shapes and in what angle are they to the viewer. This is going to help you a lot with the lighting of your piece. Once you've identified them, just make a more detailed sketch on a layer above, maybe drop the opacity of your construction and sketch layer to 50% or even lower if you like and make a more detailed and refined sketch, making use of this blocky, sketchy thing you have from before. Because now you have the perspective right and don't have to worry about it. And you have the bigger shapes of your entire composition already in place. So the only thing you gotta worry about is the details. Now, to truly understand the form, you can imagine a grid like a laser grid on top of your subject and then draw that in. The first few times you're gonna do it, it's gonna be quite hard and it won't look very good. Trust me, I know. But this helps you understand more of the form you're drawing, which leads to a better 3D shape. And that leads to the illusion of death in your drawing. If it's too hard to do on your own drawings, you can also just take your reference and trace these grid lines over the reference photo. Just drop the opacity a little, make a new layer and you're good to go. Even that will help you understand the basic shapes and form of the details more than you think. Also a good practice is drawing something from reference without doing this and then tracing over the reference with these grid lines and after that you're gonna draw it again and you can see how much you have improved. Of course you're gonna improve more because it's at least the second time you're drawing this subject but you will almost feel immediately that it just gets easier to imagine the form on your canvas. Part of it because you've already drawn it once and the other part of it because you have traced these grid lines and know what kind of form it is and how it is in perspective. Anyway, these are the only two things 
I've got today. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.